Today, we're going to be reviewing and unboxing the new Ziva Pro 2.0. So if you guys have seen my last video on the original Ziva, it was the first ever rendition of this type of product from Yoken. So there obviously were going to be some drawbacks. There was obviously going to be some features that they can improve on. And with this battery, they're claiming that they did just that. So my job for today is to test it out to its full capacity and tell you guys if it's any better than the original one and if it's even worth copying. And for those of you who are new here and haven't seen the original review, let me go ahead and give you guys a breakdown as to what this is. This right here is an incognito cartridge battery that has been blowing up within the past like year, I would say. Originally, I've seen this design from other companies, but Yoken is coming out with their own design and they're just trying to improve on it. And at the same time, not only are they trying to provide you guys with something good and durable, but they do it at an affordable price range, okay? A lot of these companies out here have been charging a ridiculous amount of money for these batteries, and my personal opinion, they can do that for a little bit up until other companies start catching on that can provide similar quality at a lower price, and I think Yokan does just that. So usually you would probably see this battery go from anywhere to like 60 to to $100. I'm not really too sure what the price range is on this. I'll go ahead and throw the price up on the screen for those of you that are interested. And I just know for a fact without even knowing the exact price of this that it's going to be probably one to two times cheaper than its competitors. So I have two different colorways right here. I'm not sure if they have any other out on the market, but these are the two that I got sent to me. And even though these were sent to me, I'm still going to give you you guys my 100% honest review and that's just how it is around here. Honesty all the way through and through and let's just go ahead and hop straight into the black one. Like I said, this one from what I see off the rip on the front is going to be they have an OLED screen, 10 second preheat which is usually a standard with these batteries, a puff counter, touch button, a variable voltage 1.8 through 4.2 and then it also has a type C charging port. You would think that a lot of people don't care about the charging ports but I see people comment all the time complaining about how all devices made in like 2024 should have those features added on to them and they're mandatory. In my personal opinion it's not really that big of a deal but it is nice to have that way things can charge up a little bit faster. Go ahead and give you guys the first sneak peek pull it out of the wrapper. As you guys can see nice little glossy black on here black on black right there you have a QR code that I assume would take you to the website for directions and and then on the front right there is the OLED display. Now, as soon as you open it, you think you just go like that, you stick your car on that little thread right there, and then it has a very, very strong and nice magnetic feature to it. it the thing that I worry about these the most is the long-term usage. I personally, you know, I stop, you. I get so many batteries all the time that I never really consistently use one, and if I do, it has to be really, really good. With these, I've used them several times, but I haven't gotten to the point where the magnet wears out, but I haven't seen anybody complain about the magnet wearing down. If you've had that issue, leave a comment down below, but I don't think there should be any. I don't think it should be too much of a problem. Now, on the side right here, it actually gives you instructions, which is power on, tap five times, screen lock, tap four times, voltage setting, tap three times, adjust, one tap, preheat on and off two taps and then it has a max charge rate of five volts with one amp only until fully charged. So you can go ahead and like I said, scan that QR code and it'll go ahead and tell you exactly what you need to do next. But before we get this started, obviously I'm gonna wanna go ahead and add my cartridge in there and the mandatory cartridge for today is gonna be Pine Trees. Pine Trees has been my go-to for quite some time now and honestly, I like supporting small batch growers as opposed to going to like dispos and support these big brands but that's just my own personal preference so pine trees has been my go-to as of late I know a lot of you have been asking me to try the views cartridges but in my personal opinion views or I'm not really too sure how to pronounce that name but it's literally just the same thing as flavor aid and cold fire just a different name it's literally made from the same guy who owns flavor aid okay so I'm not gonna try a different name that he just came out to make the same strain flavors but if they end up coming 
coming out with a crazy collaboration, who knows, maybe I'll go ahead and give it a try. But as of now, there will be no views, reviews on this channel, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop straight into this. One, two, three, four, five. Is this, I don't know if this is at like touch screen or what, right? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Oh yeah, it is touch screen, okay? So that was kind of weird. I'm used to it being buttons, but this time it has that little kind of touch screen feedback. And then as soon as you turn it on, as you guys can see right there, you have the puff counter, you have the variable wattage, all of that good stuff. And then according to the instructions, I already forgot to be quite honest with you. So you can go ahead and change the voltage th by tapping it three times, right? But first you have to unlock it. I do have to say that the little touch screen thing is a little finicky, but it might just be my little sweaty hands and um yeah four clicks unlocks it three clicks oh okay, so you have to unlock it every single time one two three and then that'll go ahead and switch it you just go ahead and tap it like so like i'm doing right here and you can do everything from a 1.8 to the 4.2 that it said earlier and in my personal opinion it's nice now like i said the touch screen is a little finicky a little bit in my personal opinion i could see how it can be kind of annoying to use sometimes i would sometimes prefer the button it just makes things easier and i know that i'm actually pressing it because you could hear the clicks so this right here i think i'm gonna go ahead and oh it has a preheat setting and everything right we're ready to go so all there is now is I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys one of the main issues that the last one had, which was the bad airflow and it sometimes was making the cartridges burn, okay? So everything that the first battery had wrong with it, they supposedly fixed it with this one. So without further ado, let me give you guys one last look of the battery because it is pretty clean overall, okay? I definitely like the black on black, the OLED display. They're definitely coming in clutch with a very nice and unique display designs way too low of a hit right there 1.9 is not the way to go especially if you're going to be using the thicker ones but i'm going to go ahead and tap it three times going to go ahead and turn it up to a 2.3 for now right ladies and gentlemen so without further ado one thing that i do have to mention off the rip is i can already see the difference in the airflow it's a lot more tighter and i i kind of like it a lot of you guys like things more airy, but me personally, I like where things are a little bit more restricted and you can actually get a nice milky hard pull, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and go in on the second one and see if we get a little bit more cloudage. Ooh wee, that was it right there, ladies and gentlemen, and wow. The flavor on that, super magnificent. At a 2.6, a little bit higher than I would usually hit it. Usually I hit it like around a 2.2, but that right there, great cloudage, great flavor. And I can definitely see that they improved it right off the rip on the thing, on the new features that they added. That airflow makes it perfect so you can get nice milky clouds like I mentioned earlier. And it's perfect for me. Honestly, everything about this so far, except for the little touch screen that's a little bit too sensitive in my personal opinion, I think aside from that, this is a very, very solid unit and it's a major improvement from the first version. And like I said, incognito battery that hides your cartridges is probably everybody's go-to nowadays i've seen so many people using this because like i said it's incognito super discreet and easily one of the dopest and cheapest batteries out there right now that is loaded with features okay so i know a lot of you guys would probably just rather go with the stick battery but if you can go with something like this and I, why not get it you know incognito so you can go ahead and hit it wherever you go people are going to be thinking that it's a regular vape which it's not but it not only that it's loaded up with features so you can go ahead and take massive blinkers get massive clouds and just rip it phenomenally okay i think they really locked in that suction cup and the only thing that other people were complaining about too was that in this device obviously the to the cart is going to get a little bit sticky but i recommend using it for a sesh right and then taking it out and cleaning the outside of the cart with a little bit of alcohol swabs that way it doesn't get sticky okay that's just my own personal preference of what I would do. Now when it comes down to this battery, I really
really don't think that it, it's supposed to be less sticky than the last version. Like I said, they were improving in all categories and I guess I'll go ahead and have to do a little bit of an update when that time comes. I'll go ahead and use it for a good two, three weeks straight and tell you guys if it does end up getting super gunked up, right? But with that being said, the new Ziva Pro from Yoken, it's definitely gonna have to get a solid 9.0 out of 10 for me. With all that being said, let me go in on one more. Had to end it off with a little blinker right there. Yeah, that was the official review of the Zebra Pro. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are down in the comment section below. And also let me know what device or car I should review next. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Don't forget to leave a fat like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.